What up, what up, what up? We are back once again. Two dudes. Oh, not two dudes for this one. My whoa, fault. Whoa, whoa. See, I always, have, I always have one mistake a year, all right? All right? I get that one out of the way early, all right? Welcome to, welcome to Pete's Corner. You're going to have to change the name of the show. <laughs> the show well, now is called Drake. Well, we are well, back to Pete's well, Corner exactly. with two dudes in the Mexican coming up. <laughs> well, listen. Look, I'm your host, Peter Soprano, a.k.a. the Sports God. To my right, D-Money Drizzy yes, Drake. sir. What's going on, people? And we are once again live from Bogies in Clifton. Come on down. You know they got good food because we've been telling you that. They got good food, good drinks. And listen, you're gonna have a good time here, so come on down. Yo, Pete, man, some breaking news. Liverpool just got knocked out. What a shocker. Like, this was a like complete fallout in the last second half of the last couple minutes of the game. They were up two nothing. And an hour ago an hour ago Up to nothing. Up to nothing. We we thought, you know, damn, Liverpool was gonna, you know, run away with it. Yeah. And they just got, and they, and they literally just got knocked out. A couple seconds, it's so, couple amazing. seconds ago. So, so let's do a quick recap of that. They were up one nothing. Um, they went to overtime because it was one one on the aggregate b- between the two teams. Mm-hmm. In the overtime, Firmino scored a goal in the first, I would say, f- five minutes of the overtime. And at that point, you're like, "Holy crap!" Liverpool found a way to pull this out. One mistake, one mistake by Liverpool, and that was really poor defending. And that what. And they fell into Madrid's trap. They fell into Madrid's trap, which was, you know, they knew Liverpool was going to attack, 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 which they were doing all yep. game really well, in my opinion. But the goalkeeper from Madrid, man, that boy's so Played nasty. really well. So nasty. And it looks like it with all the dirt and everything that was on yes, it from man. his diving saves and, and everything honestly, like that. honestly, he could have very well given up a lot of goals, but at least a good handful today. But, you know, a shout-out to him. Yeah. But after, um, after those goals, he, he completely shut them down the rest of the game. But man. after that first uh, Madrid goal, man... I think everything just fell apart for Liverpool at that point. Well, well, that's the thing. I think it started. I think it fell apart, like you said, after that first one because they were up, they were up one nothing. They scored that goal in the extra overtime to make it two nothing, and you're like, holy crap! They only have like 20 minutes to go, and they're up. Like they found a way to come back down one nothing coming into the game, and they they're up two one. They're good, and then all of a sudden, three minutes later, Urante scores. And then, like, maybe five minutes later, he scores again. And all yeah, of a sudden, yeah, you're yeah. like, what the hell just yeah. going on? Like, yeah. this just, is all in the first, this is all in the first, oh, this is all, like, a nuts game. Like, they, they literally took the, the soul out of Liverpool. But, um, but you know what? Man, much credit to them. Not only did they win at home, but they were also able to come in to, um, to Liverpool's house. Which they went like, right into England one day. And, listen, this, and this is not one of those games where you had no fans. That place was packed. <laughs> this place was packed. They're going up against the reigning champions, yep. the defending champions. And a team that's been super hot in the Premier League. And, um, exactly. And, and, and obviously a team that was not not just only one of the favorites, but one of my favorites as well to win the whole thing. Yeah. And now they're out of it. Um, Early. You know, Round of 16. Props to Madrid, man. Props, props to Madrid. Yeah, so... Well, obviously, as as more teams go on and advance between this week and next week, we'll be keep you updated on that and give you our picks to make to the semifinals and that. Yeah, but, and I'm sure we'll discuss um, the, the the games from today yeah, and definitely. yesterday um, on uh, Peace Corner. I'm sorry, I mean uh, two dudes uh, in the Mexican. See, now, I'm, now I'm getting made fun of. <laughs> on two dudes now I'm getting in the Mexican, fun of. you know which, what? Which, which, which will be coming up uh, shortly. Uh, oh man! <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it. We're in the middle of college basketball. And even though you might have some tournaments with no fans at it, this is still considered March Madness time. So, listen, conference tournament week, all the big six between ACC, Big Ten, Big 12, Big East, Pac-12, SEC, all are in the middle of playing this week. All of them are playing today. And they will run through some some finish on Saturday, some finish on Sunday as we lead right into Selection Sunday. So, with that said... We want to pick you the winners of all these conferences or who we think is going to make it through these conference tournaments. Let's start right off at the top with the ACC. Who's your pick to win the ACC, Dre? I'm going to ride with uh, with Duke in this one. Um, I, I do like Javi and... Um, hey, you sure and, to say two dudes at Mexico? And, 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 and Dave's picks. Uh, shout Duke. out to them, though. But I'm going to have to ride with Duke on this one, man, to take the ACC. What about you, Pete? Um, listen... Duke usually first first of all Duke usually wins the regular season tournament because they usually have the best record, but now we're talking about the tournament where sometimes you can slip up, sometimes you just want to prepare for the big March Madness. I'm actually going to go with Virginia to win it. Okay. They're they're hot right now. They've won eight in a row. They have the experience of winning a championship, and I think that they're just trying to get in the gear. And they're a very hard team to play against because they play very good defense and they're very awkward to play against. So, uh, Virginia. 
<laughs> seeing us won eight straight games. So I'm, I'm going to go over to Virginia to win the ACC tournament. Moving on now to the Big Ten. The last day for Peach Corner. <laughs> wow. Wow. Damn. Can we make it to March Madness here? <laughs> Coronavirus killed the show. Damn, they're <laughs> like, killing like, everything. Damn it. All right, so let's move on to the Big Ten. Uh, I'll give my pick first. Uh, even though I'll, I'll admittedly say I'm a Michigan fan, I do not think that they're a great team this year, and I don't think that they'll win that tournament. I think that Wisconsin, who is also on an eight-game winning streak, is going to find a way to win that tournament. They also play a very awkward style. Um, their big man shoots threes. It's just to, to try to defend that after one day of practice, because these tournaments, you're playing every single day. There's no day break to practice against this. So when you're playing against an awkward team, it's very tough to go day to day to day to play a team. So with Wisconsin, Wisconsin being the weird team that they are, I'm going to go with Wisconsin and win the Big, the big Ten. What do you Not think? Rutgers? Yeah, I'm actually going to. No, you know what? That would be fun, though. For, for would, this area, that would be really fun. Uh, to your Rutgers fans, you did not make the tournament. I don't know. Uh, you're uh, making a tournament. Uh, you're making a tournament. Yeah, uh, Peter, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one as well. I do like Wisconsin. I do like the way they play. And, um, I see they, that they are on a, on a nice streak, and uh, obviously it's tight, but I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. I like Wisconsin to take the Big Ten. All right. Um, moving on to the Big 12. Um, obviously, there's pretty much a two-team race. It's, pretty much, it's been Baylor and Kansas all year long. Do you think either one of those teams is going to get upset, or are you going to go win those two teams? No, I'm going to go with one of those two teams, and I'm going to stick with Kansas on this one. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm walking away. And obviously, <laughs> and obviously our producer producer just happy. walked away. Uh, he may have to stay. He may have to stay away for a second because I'm actually gonna pick Kansas also. Wow! Um, I, hope he, I hope he didn't hear that. No, I hope he didn't hear that either. But, oh shit, he's back. <laughs> so yeah, I, I just think that they. Listen, I said I may not pick them to win March Madness, even though I said that last week. I probably won't pick them to win March Madness, but I think in this short area time span, it's only two teams that they really have to that are gonna battle for this. Everybody expects it to be Kansas versus Baylor, so I'm going to go with Kansas to beat Baylor in that championship game. Um, now we move on to the Big East. Big East is not the same Big East it used to be. Not the East, not, the not, the East not when we that. had Syracuse and Georgetown and all those and all those big teams in there. UConn it has been broken up over the past five years or so, but there's still some good teams in there um, with Creighton and Villanova. Seton Hall seems to be playing well this year, but I don't believe in them. Um, I'm actually. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a surprise pick. Even though they're at the top of the division, nobody's really picking them. I'm picking Creighton to come out of this division. Uh, the, the I'm a modern of Doug McDermott, the, my boy, Doug, Dougie Fresh. So, what do you think uh, for this pick, Dre? I'm actually for this pick. I'm actually gonna roll with Villanova. Mm-hmm. I like I like Villanova to take the Big East in this one. Uh, I'll say the only reason that I'm not picking Villanova because I actually do like Villanova and I picked them to be in the Final Four la- last week. The only reason I'm not picking them is because I think that they're gonna say. We're just gonna get ready for March Madness. Right, so, right, right. I, so it's a lot even of though, do. yeah, even though I don't, I think they will obviously take this seriously. They want to win it. I don't know if they're gonna go all out to win this, knowing that they're gonna be in the tournament. They're already a good team, and I think they're they're gonna go far in March Madness. So I don't think they're gonna go crazy with that. Moving on out to the West Coast, Pac-12. Oof. This one is tough to pick because I don't think there's any one team that separates themselves from the rest. Um, obviously, people are going to be looking at Oregon. People are going to be looking at UCLA and USC. Um, I personally don't like any of these teams, but who do you like to win this, win this conference? I'm, I'm going to have to go with UCLA in this one. I think they uh, they run away with this one. Mm, really? Okay. I think it's hey. – listen, it's, it's wide open. So because yeah, it's it, wide it open. It is wide open. So because, it, it is wide open. Because it's wide Isn't open. Is that team, Walden? Uh, nice team. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Wall is a, is a gem. Stop smoking, bro. He's a, no, never stop smoking. He, <laughs> he is the funniest announcer on TV. <laughs> Bill Wall should, ne- should never. Lead. But I'm actually not going to go with one of the top three, not top four, not mm. top five team. I'm going to go with Arizona Whoa. to come out of this. Nice. I think they're playing well as of late. Even though they did lose their last game, I think they're playing well lately. Um, I love their point guard, Nico. He, he's actually from Scottsdale. My boy Scott Hill told me about him before he even went to Arizona, so shout out to him. I, I think he's going to be stepping up big time in this tournament. So, um, Plus, Nico is probably going to be a top 10 to 15 pick in the draft, so he, he has super talent. I think as the year goes on, obviously the freshmen get better, um, and I think he's going to lead them far in that tournament. I think he's gonna, they're going to surprise people and win that tournament. Moving on to the last conference that will be going over today, the SEC. Listen, I've already talked about this where Kentucky is one of those teams that has a bunch of freshmen. 
They're inexperienced, but they're super talented. And as the year goes on, they get better and better. And that's why if you look at most of the past couple of years in the SEC tournament, you see Kentucky in the finals because they've gotten better as the year goes on and they make it there. I'm going to go with them to win that tournament just like I picked them to go to the Final Four. So I'm going with Kentucky to come out the SEC tournament. I like Kentucky as well, man. I like them um, uh, to, to take the uh, SEC. How about gangbangs in that team? <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, that's – I'm not even going to talk about that. That, that sounded bad. <laughs> but listen, we want to make sure we give you the picks for the big – listen, we can't give you every pick. There's like 500 million conferences now in, in college basketball. <laughs> um, to be honest, there is going to be 32 automatic bids. Probably like half of them have went through already. So there's a lot of conferences, so we can't go through all, be here all day. We want to give you a good 10, 15 minutes to talk through this. Um, make sure that we tell you that we're not sick with the coronavirus, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so we will be back again next week. Um, but all those tournaments are going rolling this week. Mm-hmm. Starting tonight, Arizona's playing right now and winning. So um, just listen, it's going to be a good week. Even though you might not see any fans in the crowd, watch, watch your college basketball. It's going to be interesting, though. And next week, That's of course, cool. on Tuesday and Wednesday, you got the other two games in the um, Champions League. So. We will be back with you again next week to give you our Sweet 16 picks. So get ready to write all those down for March Madness. That's right. We'll catch you next Wednesday once again live from Bogies. Peace out, people. Later. Uh Uh-huh.